Monday, and uh, hi Joe. What's up, buddy? What's so, up, guys? Uh, it's you know Mondays tend to be a little sleepy. I've already had one cup of coffee, and uh, if you think that's an optical illusion of how big that mug is, because I'm holding it closer to the camera, you're only slightly right. I mean, it is a pretty big mug. That's that's a good size. Like it's like half the size of my head. <laughs> I've got a pretty big head. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I've already finished one of these. It's 16 ounces of mm -hmm. coffee, so it's time for some more. Uh, wanted to just come at you, and we're going to be doing this every Monday, about a five-minute conversation of uh, motivation, just talking, sharing uh, some of our heart to yours, and something we wanted to start for a good long time. So stay with us for about five minutes. We'll just do like a minute or two here of catching up from yeah. the weekend, the week. Summer's winding down. How was your weekend, Joe? Oh, man. I don't know about this cold weather coming in. I love you it. Know, like last night, it was cold. I did like campfires. Weird. Yeah, <laughs> I love the cold weather. How about you? don't like it? No, I want to get in the pool. I was full. See the campfire? Uh, we were going to, and then we ended up falling asleep. So it <laughs> didn't happen. You have a pool? Yeah. That's oh, what that's I was nice. hoping to do. Get in the pool for a night swim, but it got yeah. so cold. So is fast. it uh, above ground? It is. Above ground yeah. pool. There you go. So Joe's be having the above ground pool party here this summer. Yeah, let's go. So I was, uh, we had like the last throws of summer, uh, second half of the week for my family. We went camping okay. uh, with, uh, we have like a great uh, set of families in our small group at our church. I don't know if any of you guys have a small group in your church. Um, we were never able to be a part of a small group uh, until we stopped youth pastoring. <laughs> And <laughs> I became a youth live missionary, and it was like, well, I can have adult friends now mm -hmm. in my church. Because <laughs> before that, it was all like teenage small groups. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, so we got a great small group. They all have campers. And cool. so we usually do a trip or two every year. So we were at the Chesapeake Bay on uh, Sandy Cove. Very nice. Is a Christian conference center at the northern part of the Chesapeake Bay, the very northern part. Yeah. And um, so we were down there from Wednesday through yesterday. Very cool. Uh, great time. So... Um, so his last throws of summer, my wife, public school teacher, she starts back to school this week. It starts. She's got some, back -to well, school didn't start, but like yeah. the, the proceedings begin. Yeah. Uh, so she's got two back to school nights this week. So she's uh, the gifted uh, teacher for Carlisle school district mm -hmm. and elementary school level. So she travels to different elementary schools, gotcha. which means she has different back to school nights. She has wow. to go through, so. wow. It's all starting this week, but every week we'll be coming at you live, just some Monday encouragement, try to get things going, try to get you guys uh, motivated, encouraged for the week. We've got a, just a small agenda, you know, just see what's going on, catch up on the weekend, send us a comment, let us know what your weekend was like. Did you do anything awesome, cool, fun? I saw Aaron Lawrence had a huge uh, outreach in January. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they always use that hashtag for Chambersburg. I just like picture like a battle scene, like <laughs> for Chambersburg. Like, but it's I think it's more like yeah, like found it in love and yeah, war. Agreed. But um, so we want to talk about birthdays. There's a lot of birthdays this week in this group, so we want to hit the birthdays. Say happy birthday to people. We'll do that every week. Mm -hmm. Give some encouragement, maybe a devotion, a piece of personal and professional develop for you, in youth ministry. And then just give to whatever announcements we have. It's not going to be long, but we want to say happy birthday to some people. Happy birthday. This last Saturday, August 10th, Ricky Ingram from Indiana, PA, the Summit Church, turned 40. Four. Happy oh. birthday, Ricky. 40. Today is Keston Shook's birthday. Okay. Youth pastor of Westchester, Pennsylvania, Trinity Assembly of God. Tomorrow, one of our longest serving youth pastors in this district, Jeannie Rowan, Rollers nice. Assembly of God, Dover, Pennsylvania. Happy birthday tomorrow, Jeannie. Friday, our district fine arts coordinator, Marion Holt, has a birthday. All right. Happy birthday, Happy Marion. Birthday. And also our Pendel uh, Youth Ministries event assistant, Leah Bainey, has a birthday on Friday. She's 24. 24. She's lamenting her old age. <laughs> and we found out this guy doesn't have his birthday on Facebook, but we I'm found it in the district database, Brian Knorr. Has a birthday on But if it's not on Sunday, Facebook, is it still a birthday? Well, that's kind of part of our problem is okay. um, if you're not my friend on Facebook <laughs> and your birthday is not on Facebook, no, we, we don't really know. know when your birthday is. So, so you can't get mad at us. The district database is not really designed to track our youth pastors. It's mm -hmm. designed to track credential holders and our churches and things. So sometimes we can see that in there, but yeah. 
it's again, it's like if you never put down your birthday, but happy birthday. If we miss your birthday, we're sorry. Tell us about it. We will give you a special shout out and say happy, happy birthday. So happy birthday. So one of my favorite uh, verses, some encouragement for you guys. This is one of my favorite verses to use, especially when I'm working with volunteer youth leaders and youth pastors. I've got my own fire Bible here. I was reading this actually in the Hebrew this morning. <laughs> Joe caught me. He's reading out of his Hebrew he Bible. Me. This oh. is this is a real pastor. <laughs> Hold on, I don't know if you can hit things. See that? It's, Bam. Yeah. Lee's the man. But <laughs> Joe caught me uh, this morning <laughs> in the Hebrew. This is one of my favorite. You can use this with your leaders. It's a great kind of spiritual encapsulation, I think, of what, you know, like the recipe mm -hmm. for a great youth leader. What that looks like in terms of your personal comport, your person, you know, how you carry yourself, how you treat students, how you act with students. Mm -hmm regarding you, just, just who you are, your being. Micah 6, 8, well-known passage of Scripture, one of my favorites. And it's really talking about how to be uh, just a godly person. What does God require of us? And it's not complex. It's simple. Mm -hmm. But I've also just found this is a great lesson for leadership in the church. What does it take to be a great leader in the church? Micah 6, 8, and I'm taking this. This is NIV. Uh 1984, uh, and then I was reading it in the Hebrew. Uh, it says, he has showed you what is good. What does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly with your God, right? Three things. What does the Lord require of you? Act justly, love mercy, uh, walk humbly. And what's really interesting, especially in... Like Joe, he did catch me in the Hebrew this morning. The Hebrew, like the word is not act justly, it's justice, like do justice. And it's a legal term. It's like uh, mishpat, which comes from shafat. Shafat means judge or justice or really means judge. So mishpat, the M in front of shafat, means from a judge, from justice. And essentially, like what Micah says, what the Hebrew word is simply saying, this is a legal judgment, a decision. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but we know like, this is the Old Testament, the period of the law. So there's those kind of legal sanctification implications there too. So it's almost like, it, like we aren't, we're processing it through our brains today. Mm -hmm. Oh, justice, like social justice. We love justice. Yes, do the right thing, right? But there's kind of like this more actual legal context to this yeah. in the Old Testament. And essentially means like uh, do do the do things right. Mm -hmm. Like follow the law, do what's right in the sight of God, uh, and and do that, and that is justice. When you do like legally what's right, follow those decisions. And so like but then this juxtaposed to the idea of loving mercy. And mercy is like when you get away from like <laughs> the punishment of the law, like yeah. when you're disobedient. So it's like do what's legally right, but love mercy. It's this good. is kind of it's like the, what we need as leaders for in youth ministry, right? Mm -hmm. We got to do it right. Mm -hmm. And we need to encourage our students, hey, we got to do things right. But we also like we have to love mercy. We have to have grace when we're interacting with our students. We've got to apply it with love. And the word in the Hebrew there is hesed, loving kindness, mercy. It's it's this idea that's not just like grace, like, okay, okay, you're off the hook. It's like yeah. applied in love. So, um, and then walking humbly, uh, which is a great, just not flaunting those things, mm -hmm. but being being kind to all people. And there's nothing like that requires maybe more humility than uh, l applying loving kindness to the junior higher who's annoying you mm. to no end. <laughs> like, right? Amen. It's, <laughs> it's tough. Peter Drucker was a management expert uh, in the last century. Uh, I don't know if he was a believer or not, um, but he is like, he's has got all kinds of business and leadership quotes out there. He has a quote that says, uh, leader uh, management is doing things right. Mm. You follow the rules, you do things right. And that's why I always think of like doing justice, manage it, do it well, turn in receipts, you know, follow the rules. Don't drive over the speed limit in the van by much, you know, make sure people are seatbelting, have the clearances that you need, make sure people are, are doing what you're supposed to be doing. 
And then he, so he would say management is doing uh, things right, but leadership is doing right things. And so that's the love piece uh, of it. Uh, loving kindness, grace, mercy, walk justly, do justice, love mercy, and do it all in a kind, loving heart, walking with humility. Uh, so, hey, that's a great devotion. I love to use that with volunteer youth yeah. leaders, uh, especially, you know, those who are too full of grace and don't want to apply the rules need to hear about the justice. Those who are too legalistic and want students to be very rigidly following things, they need to hear yeah. about the loving kindness, and we all need to hear about the humility. So that's a great one. That's good. So apply that in your life, in your youth ministry. A couple announcements. Bible Quiz Camp is actually happening this week, and if you have students that want a Bible quiz, maybe you want to come check it out. It's not too late to do that. The early deadline's okay. passed. Late deadline, you can see. PendleYouth.com. Scroll to the bottom. You'll see Bible Quiz down there. Nice. And the menus, you can check out the details there on Bible Quiz. Uh, Fearless coming up. We've got uh, dates coming up. And yes. we've been saying a week out for the early deadline, $26 this mm -hmm. year for Fearless. Includes everything, including the lunch, the grab bag. But we are, here's what we're saying, the Sunday night before Fearless will be the deadline. So technically okay. six days. Yeah. 11.59 p.m. Sunday night before Fearless, six days before, is the absolute last time to get the early price at midnight it flips and it's That's done it. so it's coming soon back. yeah no going back coming soon we'll be doing a section by section listening tour it'll happen throughout the fall i want to come see in your sections so stay tuned for when that will be happening and where it'll be later in the fall probably like october time frame when it come out meet with every section youth pastor group and just hear from you what you need what the youth department can do for you. We had one scheduled for East Central, but there's been some shifts personnel-wise in the East Central section, so we're putting that off. So if you were ready for that, you were signed up for that, you were ready to go, um, we put that on hold for now. Um, so it won't be next week like we planned because, we, again, some personnel shifts. Let's pray uh, and uh, just ask God to bless our youth pastors this week. God, as our youth pastors wrap out, uh, wrap up and uh, close out summer over the next two, three weeks. We pray that you bless them and keep them. God, let them love justice, to do justice, to love mercy and apply it, and to walk humbly in their youth ministries. Help them be motivated this Monday to make a difference in the lives of students, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hey, God bless you guys. Happy birthday to all our birthday people. See you later.